the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Once we were far off. But now, in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. The fourth station, Peter denies Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. At that moment the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him, before the cock crows twice you will deny me three times and he broke down and wept I do not know this man Peter got it right for once he said he didn't know him he said he wasn't with him that was how we were all feeling we didn't know him we weren't with him anymore we thought he would vindicate himself wasn't that where everything else had been leading? How could we think otherwise when he rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, just like the prophet said? Or when he declared that the temple would be torn down and rebuilt in three days? But now we just felt stupid and scared. He wasn't the Messiah. We didn't really know him at all. Maybe we never had. And that's how I feel at the moment. I feel stupid. I feel scared. I feel like I don't know him and can't follow him. But I can't let go of him either. I keep thinking that something else will happen that will make sense of all this senselessness. When the cock crows, it isn't just Peter who is reminded of his failing. I know with the dawn of each new day that I am not the person I was meant to be, that I have much to learn about love, that his words of peace and forgiveness have not yet entered my soul and changed me, so that even if I was led away like him, I could keep on loving. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, as Peter betrayed you, you experience the double agony of love rejected and friendship denied. Be with those who know no friends and are rejected by society. You understood the fear within Peter. Help us to understand the anxieties of those who fear for their future. To you, Jesus, who gaze with sadness at your lost friend, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and nation and language. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and made us a kingdom of priests to stand and serve before our God. To him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honour, glory and might forever and ever. Amen. May God bless us that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline gentleness and peace. Amen.